Wheeler Island, off the coast of the East Indian state of Odisha, is India's primary missile testing site. In April 2012, India became the sixth country to acquire an Intercontinental Ballistic Missile, or ICBM, when it successfully test-launched the Agni-5. Already a possessor of nuclear weapons, India joined the United Kingdom, China, France, Russia, and the United States as the only countries with a proven capability to deliver nuclear warheads at intercontinental ranges. The Indian Defense Research and Development Organization, or DRDO, is responsible for missile development in India. The DRDO has four testing sites, three at Chandapuran Sea, and one due south at Wheeler Island. Wheeler Island has two launch pads located on the north and southeast sides of the island. There is no bridge connecting the island to the mainland, so rockets, equipment, and personnel arrive via a rail-integrated wharf, a pier, and a helicopter landing pad. A network of roads and rail lines connect the island's terminal, support structures, rocket assembly and checkout buildings, and launch pads. Over the past few decades, the Defense Research and Development Organization has tested progressively longer-range nuclear-capable ballistic missile systems at Wheeler Island. India began by producing the Prit-V short-range ballistic missile, first test-launched in 1988, and an Agni Technology Testbed, or TTB, in 1989, capable of a maximum range of 1,500 kilometers. After three successful launches of the Agni, India moved to develop it into a medium-range ballistic missile, the Agni-2. The Agni-2 is a two-stage missile with a first stage similar to the Agni TTB and a second stage similar to the Prithvi. India first launched the Agni-2 from Wheeler Island in 1999, achieving a range of 2,000 kilometers. Missile systems in later stages of development are tested from the island's northern launch pad, where the missile is fired from a road mobile transporter erector launcher. Using the Agni-2 as a baseline, India developed the Agni-1 short-range ballistic missile and the Agni-3 intermediate-range ballistic missile. For the Agni-1 design, India shortened the missile's range to 700 kilometers, but included a number of sophisticated modifications, such as an improved guidance system and a re-entry vehicle, which increased the missile's accuracy. India tested the Agni-1 at Wheeler Island in 2002. The Agni-3 is also smaller than the Agni-2, but has an increased range of 3,000 to 5,000 kilometers and advanced guidance and control systems. India first launched the Agni-3 in 2006. The Agni-4 is a 4,000 kilometer range intermediate range ballistic missile based on the Agni-2. India first launched the Agni-4 in 2011. During initial testing, missiles are launched from Wheeler Island's southeastern launch pad using an 8x8 rail integrated transporter erector launcher. India tested the more than 5,000 kilometer range Agni-5 ICBM in April 2012. The Agni-2, 3, and 4 were all two-stage rockets. The Agni-5 design uses an additional third stage to achieve its significantly longer range. Like the United States, Russia, and China, India's successful development of intercontinental ballistic missiles is the result of a systematic and sequential program, with each new missile design incorporating evolutionary improvements over previous designs aided by extensive testing. In an effort to limit the proliferation of ballistic missiles to new countries, the missile technology control regime limits exports of relevant technologies to countries that do not already possess them. However, India's decades of experience building space launch vehicles have provided it with the expertise to remain largely self-sufficient in missile development. As such, India's program has not been significantly slowed by international export controls.